Hili hili hali khuntma Gaisna Hatmin hoyoish Nim hoyoish sana Hili min kho Nim kho baunayu Okay, uh, so for today's video, we're going to go ahead and uh, go over the pronunciation of the vowels in Shukchansi. So starting off with our short vowels, um, they're pronounced the same as they are in Spanish. So we have U, O, E, A, I. The U is the same as an uno, flu, tuba, tuna, O as in dos, taco, Nacho, old, e as in tres, mesa, peso, café, a as in cuatro, taco, nacho, spa, e as in cinco, bio, burrito, and diva. So uh, for an example of one of our u sounding words, we have utu, utu. Utuun. So um, for these slides, you're going to see uh, two words here. Uh, this first one is going to be the subject form of the word, and the one below it is our object form. And uh, these will be used interchangeably um, in sentences. So for example, if the tree is the subject of the sentence, we would use this word. And if it's the object of the sentence, we would use this form of the word. Um, but for right now, we're just going to go over um, the pronunciation of each uh, subject and object form of the word. So this is our word for tree, and this one is utu. Utu. And the object form is utuun. Utuun. Utu. Utuun. Next, we have Ui ui, ui ui, ui uya, ui uya. And this is our word for roadrunner. Ui ui, ui uya. Sabadu, sabadun, sabadu, sabadun. This is our word for shoe. Sabadu, sabadun. Mokela. Mokela, mokela an, mokela an, and this is our word for woman. Mokela, mokela an, and the word for the number two is bonoi, bonoi, bonio, bonio, bonoi, bonoi, bonio, and o. For orangey, orangey, and the object form of orange, orangey in, orangey in. For the number six, we have the o sound in there, and it is cholipi, cholipi, cholipia, cholipia, cholipi, cholipi, cholipia. Olympia. For number seven, Nomchin. Nomchin. Nomchina. Nomchina. Nomchin. Nomchina. And another example of the O sound in Chikchansi, we have Monosh. 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 Monosha. Monosha. And this is uh, our word for eight. Monosh. Monosha. And for uh, an eh sound in Chukchansi, we have an example word of kande. Kande. Kande in. Kande. Kande in. And this is our word for candy. Kande. Kande. Kande in. Kande in. And uh, the eh sound in this word is for our number 10, and that's cheyu, 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 cheyu. 
a word for bird, we have the e sound is in this word we have teo 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 and this is our word for a rabbit and the word for butterfly for the a uh, sound we have walapsu walapsu walapsuun walapsuun Wallopsu Wallopsu Wallopsuun Wallopsuun And for jacket the ah in here is Jaqueta 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 an Jaqueta an And our word for dog is Jeha 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 an Jeha an Jeha 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 an Jeha an And for our number four, a uh, as in Hatabanai Hatabanai Hatabanya Hatabanya And for caterpillar, we have Huya 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 an Huya an Huya, huya, huya an, huya an. And for the e, as uh, in the word for our number five, we have yitshinil, yitshinil, yitshinla, yitshinla, yitshinil, yitshinil, yitshinla, yitshinla. And uh, so those were our short vowels. And as you may have noticed uh, in some of those words, uh, some of the vowels and particular words may have not have been highlighted, um, and they were followed by uh, two vowels. And uh, these are uh, long vowels. So when you have uh, two U's together, two O's or E's, um, that will be a longer vowel or a longer sound of that vowel. So just kind of say it twice as long. Um, and sorry, this is supposed to be an A here. I'm sorry for my typo. But um, so for example, instead of just uno, it would be uno, uno, u, uno, o, dos. And uh, be careful uh, to recognize that uh, when you see the double O's, it's not the same as in English where it's food, to, spoon, good, or look. It's the O, U, O, E, A, E. U, uno, O, dos. And the same for those uh, two E's when you see those together. It's not the feet feet or t teen or spleen it's e as in tres tres and the double a's we have a ah. for example it would be similar to cuatro cuatro e cinco cinco so let's go ahead and see some example uh, words using our double vowels so starting off with the u uh, sound we have sukala 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 an sukala an sukala 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 an sukala an and that's our word for sugar next we would have the u sound in here would be ustuba 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 an ustuba an and this is the word for stove. Ustuba, ustuba, ustuba an, ustuba an. In all our double O uh, vowel sound, we have shopping, 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 
Shopping up for number three. Shopping, shopping, shopping up, shopping up. And、uh, for this word, this is our word for man. We have no no, no no, no no, no no, no no, no no. no, no. And the word for number nine, we have no nip, no nip, no nipa, no nipa. And for that、uh, double e sound, it would be s, as in any, any, any in, any in. And this is our word for snow, any, any in. And here、uh, we have our word for dog again, and、uh, this is cheha, cheha, cheha an, cheha an, cheha, cheha, cheha an, cheha an. And the word for cookie, we have that、uh, long vowel for the e. We have gaeda, gaeda, gaeda an. Gaeda an. Gaeda. Gaeda an. And for our word for milk, we have leji, leji, leji in, leji in, leji, leji in. And for cat, we have gadu, gadu, gadu un, gadu un. Gadu, gadu, gadu un, gadu un. For matches, the ah、uh、in here is matches, matches, matchisa, matchisa, matches, matches, matchisa, matchisa. For matches, matches, matchisa. And for that、uh, double e, we have gaina, gaina, gaina an, gaina an, and that's for chicken. And we have another chicken, a cooked kind, gaina, gaina, gaina an, gaina an. And for a shirt, it would be a gamisha, gamisha, gamisha an. So for sure, again we have gamisha, gamisha, gamisha an, gamisha an. And for owl is hihina, hihina, hihina an, hihina an. So、uh, these are going to be some vowel sounds,、um, and for example. When it's the vowel, then followed by a W,、um, it'll make the same kind of sound as an U, as in blue, glue, true, U, blue, glue, true, and O as in blow, glow, row. And there isn't really an example word、um, in English for、uh, this sound that we have in Chinese, and this is L, L. Ew. And、uh, for this sound, this is ow, ow.、Uh, similar to the words in English for how, now, brown, and cow. And this one is ew, ew, ew.、Uh, similar to ew, like when something's nasty or something like ew, ew. So let's go ahead and move on to some examples with those types of sounds. Um, so this sentence here、uh, is including the utu, and we have that sound there, that u u. So I'll read the sentence. It says, "Yalk e hun adlen utu, yalk e hun adlen utu." And、uh, this would mean that the man、uh, or he is standing underneath the tree. He is standing underneath the tree. 
So uh, uh, a lot of the times, not every time, but um, whenever you see the W uh, followed by a vowel, um, occasionally that might indicate that uh, that certain thing is involving like a location. Uh, so for example, utu is the word for a uh, tree, the subject form of tree. And utu un is the object form. And this form of the word, we have utu. And this w is uh, indicating that uh, the tree has become like a location. So it's something is near the tree, by the tree. Uh, in this case, yalk e khun is standing, and atlan is underneath, and then utu is the tr uh, underneath the tree. And uh, the word for uh, he isn't in this word, or isn't in this sentence, because um, uh, this is an exception in Chichansi where uh, we'll talk about it later, but the word for he, she, or it can be left out in this sentence, as it is in this one. So let's go ahead and read this sentence again. Yalk e hun adlen utu. Yalk e hun adlen utu. He is standing underneath the tree. And then out we have Galjin chempai ho o. Galjin chempai ho o. And this would uh, mean that there are many birds on the house. So Galjin is our word for many or lots of. And chempai, uh, that was a word that we had uh, seen in one of the previous slides, that is uh, the word for bird. And ho uh, is our word for house or home. And like I mentioned in that previous slide, the W indicates that the house is sort of a location now. Um, so ho is the locative form of house, the location form. So... The birds could be on the house, by the house, near the house. Uh, so let's go ahead and read this sentence again. And this means he's sitting on his butt or he sat on his butt. So ew. Joteu. Joteu, holo shot joteu, holo shot joteu. He sat on his butt. Holo shot joteu. And this one, ga mau what's it? Ga mau what's it? And that is uh, translating to he got up from the bed. Ga mau what's it? Ga mau what's it? So gama is the word for bed, and what's it is for like getting up. Gama what's it? And you, you, we have a new widnit, a new widnit, and uh, this means that he fell in the snow. So again, we have that w right here, uh, and this is indicating that the snow. Um, is the, like the location so he with it fell and you in the snow and you with it and you with it so uh for these uh type of sounds in chickchancy we have the vowel followed by um a y so for example we would have ui uh, similar to fui and the muy um, in Spanish. So, uy, uy. And the oi, uh, similar to uh, the English word for boy, toy, joy, oi. And a, the same as in pray, obey, gray, a, ai, ai. Similar to tai, Taiwan. Saigon, I, I, E, E, Key, Monkey, Donkey, E. So here we have Holoshoi, Holoshoi, Holoshoya, Holoshoya. 
This is our word for chair. Holoshoi. Holoshoya. Holoshoi. Holoshoya. And here again for our word for number two. Bonyo. Bonyo. Bonoi. Bonoi. Oi. Bonoi. Bonoi. And uh, in this case, uh, keep note that um, the word on the bottom here, this is the subject form. And this one has that, uh, that oi sound, bonoi. And this one on top, uh, it was just switched around, but the bonyo is the object form of two. So we'll focus on this one here to recognize that oi sound, bonoi, bonoi. So this one is say, 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 uh, say, uh, and this is the word for like a pestle. Say, say, eight, eight, say. And I, we have hatbanite, hatbanite, and the object form for the number four is hatbanya, hatbanya. So we have yet. Bonoi, shopping, hatbanite, hatbanite, jeha, hatbanite, jeha. That's four dogs. Ai, hatbanite, hatbanite. And for e, we have cholipi, cholipi, cholipia, cholipia. And this is our word for six. We have yet, bonoi, shopping, hatbanite. Yitshinil, cholipi, cholipi. That's uh, six. E, e, cholipi, cholipia. All right. So uh, this concludes uh, the sounds for our vowels in Shikshansi. Um I hope that this was helpful in sort of pronouncing these sounds when we see those vowels in our words. Um, my advice would be just to keep practicing, watch this video, you know, as many times as you need to to kind of get the hang of those vowel sounds. Um, and just any word that you see, uh, just sound it out and just keep practicing as much as you can. Um, so I will see you in the next video. We'll be going over consonants next time. So, yeah.